this position is an essential activity that we need in our everyday life. When we assume standing position with a patient with neurological disorder, first we have to observe their posture in standing. And uh, what we are expecting is they head upright, normal curvature in the spine, without either uh, any deformities in the sagittal plane or the frontal plane. So, no kyphotic posture or asymmetrical uh, leaning towards one side. Hips and knees uh, are extended and the ankle is at 90 degrees. The um, standing is a, is a relatively unstable position because we have a narrow base of support compared to all positions we experienced previously. Because here the base of support is only between the feet, uh, the feet and the, uh, the area between them. And uh, in addition, the center of mass is at a relatively high position with long distance between the center of mass and the base of support. That's why it's a relatively unstable position. Of the common abnormalities that we see in standing, as I mentioned, abnormalities with the front posture, so for example, leaning forward or leaning sideways. And uh, these things we see, for example, with patients with stroke, they tend to lean to one side. Patients with Parkinson's, they tend to lean forward. Or for example, if a patient has um, abnormality, uh, like a contracture or weakness in one of the lower limb muscles, then we can see hip or knee flexion, yeah. Uh, if a patient has um, plantar flexion deformity, then they might raise their ankle on one leg. And um, this would show that uh, there is asymmetrical weight gain. Okay. Now, when we look at our patient in standing position, we try to observe for those things and try to provide the patient with corrections for any deformities we observe. So we ask them to stand upright and uh, try to maintain symmetrical weight bearing. We could provide internal or external cues to the patient. For example, if we have a mirror in front and you're looking at the mirror, I could tell you to lean to the right or to the left if you have um, abnormality. Usually, I tell patients to try to bear weight through both legs, and at some point they might think, okay, we have it. So then I will try to move one leg, uh, one foot with my, with my own leg, and if I uh, I'm unable to move the patient's leg, then this means that they are uh, holding weight equally on both legs. What happens often with patients with stroke is that they would be bearing weight on one side, and then when I do this, I would manage to move their leg. And this tells me that they are not holding weight symmetrically. The whole time we are doing exercises from standing, especially at the early stages, it is very important to stay close to the patient to give them a sense of uh, safety because very often our patient's problem with inability to hold standing uh, is more uh, or less a fear issue. So they have fear of falling. And um, after some time, after repetitive practice, being assured that they are safe next to the therapist, they would be able to accomplish a lot. So safety is very essential in this position.